Hey everyone, Alex from Nami Audio here. Hope you're doing great. Today I'm very excited because I'd like to walk you through my latest library, Midnight Warps. Midnight Warps is the evolution of the free library Midnight Uprights, both available on the website and on Pianobook. It is by far my most downloaded library and your feedbacks have been just amazing. What I've read a lot in the comments is a lot of you seems to like the texture layer and the ability to blend it with the piano itself. As far as I'm concerned, this makes me play the piano quite differently from any other one. I like to let each chord or note breathe more, letting the texture come through and creating beautiful beds under my scores. This made me want to extend on that idea and create a library by pushing further this philosophy. So without further ado, let's have a look at Midnight Warps. As you can see, the library comes in a brand new interface, giving you access to a three-layer mixer and a nice curation of effects with filter, drive, compression, delay and reverb. First of all, let's have a listen only at the first layer, which is the upright piano recording. This upright piano has three dynamics layers and was recorded using a pair of small condenser microphones at ear level for a nice stereo imaging and the feeling of being at the player position. The piano itself doesn't have any celeste pedal, so I decided to put a blanket between the strings and the hammers to create a felt-like sound. The result is quite different, but still very interesting. It makes the piano even more pure and fragile, and letting all the mechanics noises stand out. Speaking about the noises, by clicking on a layer label, you can access its full view, allowing you to have more control over the sound. So on the upright, you can set the balance between the three recordings, which are the notes, the release triggers, and the pedal noises. As an example, let's boost the last two ones to see how it sounds. As you can hear, it has a lot of character and bite to the sounds, but with a pure tail, so it won't overwhelm your composition if you have a lot of tracks. Next, you have usual controls like tune, pan or volume, and there's also a stereo width control, high pass and low pass filters. This upright is really nice on itself, but as I said before, the real magic in this library is when having it interacting with the other layers. And first, let's talk about Space, which is a collection of five patches. They are the piano samples sent into different reverb units or time-based effects for adding dimension to the instruments. First, let's have a listen at the first one, which is Classic Room. Thank you. 
Now let's listen at the second one, which is large hole. While we are on the sounds, let's talk a little bit about the ADSR, which allows you to create quite unique reverbs behavior. For example, the release is acting a little bit like a decay time control. So this is how it sounds for now. And now let's raise the release a little bit more. And when putting the release at zero, you can basically create a gated reverb. So by playing a chord, you can hear the reverb. And as soon as I let it go, you don't hear it anymore. And by playing with the other controls, you can shape the reverb volume in really interesting ways. For example, let's raise the attack a lot, a little bit more the decay. Let's lower the sustain and have more release. I'm going to put more reverb and this is how it sounds. Okay, let's listen to the other reverb patches. And the next one is Cloud. Next patch is Spring Tank, and this is how it sounds. And finally, you have hyper delay. Another very useful control in this layer is the tuning. It gives you the ability to pitch the piano reverb without having to do complicated tricks on your digital audio workstation. As an example, let's go back to the cloud reverb and put the tune 12 semitones up. Tuning the layer also changes the sonic quality of the reverb. And if you don't want that, you also have the option to select another mode, which is Transpose. And as you can see, the control is now updated. Now you are not stretching the samples, but changing the MIDI notes for this layer only. As an example, let's put the reverb a fifth higher and listen to the differences between Tune and Transpose. So let's go back to Tune first, and this is how it sounds.
and now transpose. Now let's have a listen at the third and last layer, which is machine. This one lets you choose between 13 patches of the piano mangled with different machines, software processings, or unique recording techniques. They can be used on their own or blended with the other layers to get interesting textures in the background or to go completely crazy. The first one is Legacy Pad. It was created by recording the piano samples through a 4-track deck and driven through a 70s mixer. Next is Expressive Pad, and it's basically the texture layer from Midnight Upright. It is the same as the previous one, but with three Dynamics layers, with different processings on each one of them. Next is Pure Tones, which consists of only the strongest piano harmonics and a little bit of chorus for a Juno-like pad. While we are on the sounds, let's go through some of the effects. And first of all, I'm going to add some woe and flutter in the color section. A little bit of drive. Next, I'm going to add some delay. And finally, some reverb. And I'm going to choose the plate one. Next, you have two granular patches. Here is the first one. And the second one is actually the same patch, but with only one sample spread across the whole keyboard that has been resampled through my MPC-3K for a beautiful lo-fi sound. And here is the same patch, but with a lot of effects, so you can hear how far you can go with the interface. Then you have a wavetable patch.
Moving on with the next one that is probably my favorite one and it has been processed with a granular delay. And like previously, the second patch is exactly the same as this one, but with one sample spread across the old keyboard and also sampled with the MPC-3K. Next, you have Freezed, which is an everlasting reverb. And the last four patches are loops created with different machines like tape decks, digital sequencers and samplers, or weird analog units. Whatever the layer, every patch is also available as individual instrument. But the real magic for me is when playing with this main instrument by having all three layers playing together with the built-in effects. As a demonstration, let's have a listen at some of the snapshots.
Okay, that was the overview of Midnight Warps. I hope you liked it and that you'll find inspiration from this instrument. I'm very excited to know what you all think about it and hear what you'll come up with. Until then, take care and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.